Hey there, I'm Mrs. Smith, and welcome to this math practice with decimals. And we're back! To use our superpowers for good again! As we multiply and divide decimals by powers of 10, this time with exponents. As you've probably seen in some of our other videos on powers of 10, when you're multiplying by powers of 10, the decimal point moves to the right. When you are dividing by powers of 10, the decimal point moves to the left. But this trick only works with powers of 10. How far it moves? depends on the exponent being used in this case. We have this problem, 2.51 times 10 to the second power. And we're multiplying, so we're going to move our decimal point to the right. And since we have an exponent of 2, we're going to move it two places to the right. And that's our answer right there, 251. 2 and 51 hundredths times 10 to the second power is 251. I moved the decimal point to the right because we were multiplying, and I moved it two places to the right because our exponent was a 2. Next, we have 2.51 times 10 to the third power. We're multiplying, so we're moving our decimal point to the right, and our exponent is 3, so we're moving it to the right three places. 1, 2, I need one more place, 3, so I'm going to have to fill in that empty space with a 0, 2,510. Let's try some division. Dividing by powers, 10 moves the decimal point to the left. Here we have an exponent of 2, so we're going to move our decimal point two places. To the left because we're dividing. So there's one, two, and then fill in that empty space with a zero. If you have about five pieces of something and you divide them into a hundred pieces, because that's what 10 to the second power is, those pieces are going to be pretty tiny. And our answer is tiny, 512 ten thousandths. Super small. Check out this next one. We have 12 and 5 tenths divided by 10 to the power of 2. So we're dividing, that means our decimal point's going to go left, and it's going to go two places left because our exponent is a 2. 12 and 5 tenths divided by 10 to the power of 2 has a quotient of 125 thousandths. Next, we have 126 divided by 10 to the power of 3. We're going to move our decimal point left because we're dividing, Three places left because the exponent is a three. One, two, three. And there's our answer. Powers of 10 have some really nice shortcuts, but don't try them with other numbers. They only work with powers of now 10. Now let's try some on your own. Remember, when you're multiplying, you're going to move the decimal point to the right. When you're dividing, you're going to move the decimal point to the left. How far you move it depends on the exponent. Got it? Good! Let's go! Try this one. your decimal point two places to the right and get 126. Good job. Now try this one. Did you move your decimal point three places to the left? Two, three, 
And then you had empty space there. Did you fill it in with a zero? You got this. You are super duper. Great job today. If you would still like some help on exponents or powers of 10, you can check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when new videos are up. I will see you later. Have a great day.